hi guys coming to you with my last video of the night this is going to be on how i create my airbrush style designs here in affinity photo so i'm just going to do a quick tutorial for you so you can pull up your affinity photo and try it out for yourself so let's get started all right so i'm just going to open a new document and it's going to do an eight and a half by 11 and i'm going to be using uh the landscape design uh, landscape page so i'm just clicking on landscape and i'm just going to hit create all right so first thing that i'm going to do is uh, make a black background so i'm just going to click on my rectangle tool and i'm just going to pull that in and I'm going to make it black. So I'm just going to click on black here. And I'm going to lock this so that it doesn't move while I'm adding everything else to it. So I'm just going to right click here and click on lock. So that is locked in place. Uh, so now I'm going to pull in my text. And I'm just going to click here on the artistic text tool and I'm just going to pull down. And as usual, I'm going to type in honey. It's coming in black because that's the color that I have my text. And I'm just going to change it to white. So I just click on that. And I actually want it to be in all caps. So I'm just going to click on the artistic text tool here and you see my cursor I'm just going to back it up make it all caps all right I'm going back to my move tool here so I can gain control again and I'm going to go to my font and the font that I'm going to be using is called ANS California plug all right so i've got my uh text here and i've got the font that i want to use so now i want to get my colors going so i'm going to go over here to my gradient tool and i'm just going to start here on the inside of it and go up and you just want to kind of go into a line you want to keep it you know kind of like inside of there all right so now I'm just gonna click here and I'm going to choose my colors and I'm gonna change this to swatches so I can see what I want to do and let me check my color palettes y'all All right, so I'm gonna go with that color here and then click on this one. Go with yellow and see right here you can click on it and you can actually adjust it to how you want. So I think I want a little bit more yellow at the top. It's like a you know like a sun setting there all right so I'm gonna go with that I'm just gonna click on there so now I'm done I'm gonna go back to my move tool all right and so now I'm going to duplicate this and I'm just gonna it's still highlighted so I'm just gonna click on control J and as you can see over here another one shows up in my layers panel over here so now as you can see i have two so the one on the bottom i'm going to move this a little bit i am going to let's see what i'm going to do i like that color but i'm going to make it one color i'm going to make it this pink because i like it all right and so now i'm going to go over here 
I'm going to highlight that one I just turned all the way pink and I'm going to go to my effects and I want to click on and I want to give it a Gaussian blur and as you can see it's already got that it's getting that brushy look you see how that is right there and I like that And so now I'm going to go down and I'm going to go to outer glow. And right now the color that it's saying the outer glow is going to be is white. And I'm, just, I'm going to try that first. And as you can see, I, I don't really like that. So I'm going to try this, the same color. Let's see how that goes. That's, hmm a bit much let's see how it looks when I do that so I'm gonna try something else I'm going to hit control J and I'm going to duplicate that one So now, make that white. And now you see how that is. It gives it like, it gives it more of a flare. So see how that is? You got your, um, you know, you got your airbrush effect right there. And the honey, you know, it's still, it's like it's glowing in there. Like it's been brushed on there. So now let's bring in move this right here and see when you do it like this you can go to your effects and I'm just gonna go back to my Gaussian blow blur and bring it down just a little because I want to see some of that pink back there see so I kind of get that layered effect on top of having my um, blur in the back Okay, so now I want to bring in my circle. So you see, I'm just clicking on the rectangle here, and I'm just going to hit the little arrow right there, and it's going to bring up all the different tools that I can use. And I'm going to click on the ellipse tool, and I'm just going to hold the shift. Um, now, I'm going to show you this. If you just pull it this way, you're going to be getting like a egg shape. But if you hit shift, you see it turns to the circle. And I want a circle shape. So now I'm just clicking on my move tool. And I want to try yellow first. And I'm going to bring that, drop that down to the back. And I'm going to go here to my layers panel and I just highlighted all of this, the three honeys, and I want to group them so they can stay together. So see when I move everything, it still is one. So now I'm just going to see how I feel about this being the yellow back there. And I'm going to go to effects and I'm gonna give it a blur and you see it's getting that brushy effect and hmm, let's see go down to my outer glow I'm 
go up on my radius you see I want to make that yellow because I want it to have that same glow on there And let's play around with the colors. Pink? Nah. All right, I kind of like that. So let's see. Now I'm just going to duplicate this circle, Control J, and I'm gonna make it smaller. And for this one, I think I'll go with that, uh, that pink, Let's make this pink. All right, go up here and see if I need to give it any more of a blur. And now I'm just gonna take both and I'm going to, I want to align it. So I'm just going up here to align center. And I'm looking at this back one and I'm thinking I want to make it oh, one color because I like that better. Yeah, I like that better. And I'm going to do one more of this middle circle so I'm gonna hit control J duplicate that and I'm gonna try and see how it looks if I make it white so give it a little I think there's a little highlight I think I like that See, I don't want to contrast with that pink that's there. I'm going to try and see what happens when I make that pink. Go back to my outer glow. Make it pink. I'm going to make this one yellow. Yeah, now look at that. Now see, I like that. And I'm going to make the outer glow yellow. See, look at that. Let's look real. Oh, yeah, I love that. I love that. Okay. All right. So let's go up a little bit more on that outer glow on that. Okay. Oh, yeah. I love this. Okay. So now we've got our circles in the background. And I'm going to go back and just going to align these two. All right, so there we go. And if you want to, you can, you can give honey a little bit glow there. Bring down the opacity on that a little bit. Take off that white on there. On that little edge right there, you see? And I might just give it a little bit of a blur. Just a tiny bit. There we go. All right, and so now I just wanna accent the rest of the design and I'm just gonna uh, right here now you can go to uh, creative fabrica if you want to um, if you want to go on Etsy and you can get some uh, flares I got this in a in a pack that uh, my husband had and it just has these little shines in there and I'm just bringing these in And I'm going to bring this one here. And I'm just going to make them 
different sizes. And you can put yours wherever you want. I'm just showing you, um, you know, what you can do. And as you can see, I'm just clicking it and changing the color there. You can adjust the size so it just looks, make this one a little bit smaller. Just bring it there. Looks like they're almost touching each other. But it can be, you know, whatever you want. All right. Bring a couple of these over here. yellow All right bring one more make it yellow and see how it's like uh, really liney and thick looking I want to soften that up and I'm going to go here to my Gaussian blur and as you can watch it, you see how it's going to soften up. So I'm just going to do that with this one. So I'm just clicking it. And just giving it, making it soft. And like I said, you can make the size whatever you want all right I'm gonna go big ones Ooh, I like that and there you go so excuse my squeaky chair um, but there you go. You can, you know, from here, you can put whatever flare you want on it. I mean, if you decide that you want to uh, go over here to the tool and you want to bring in some hearts, you can bring in some hearts, duplicate them. And maybe make a little um, heart cluster. Maybe make a few like, like bigger, put them together. A little smaller. All right, and then I'll just put them together and you can, you know, move them wherever you want just to you know kind of accent it and you want to take a little soften those edges give it a little blur and then you can go to your uh give it a little outer glow and, you know change that color Ooh, i always want to do that one and there you have it so and you can you know just move those around make it your own but now you can see how 
it can be done and as far as you know backgrounds if depending on what color uh shirt you're gonna put it on you can um do your background um you know however you want and then when you get ready to go and print it so let's say if this is gonna go on um a white shirt then I'm gonna go here to my layers and I'm gonna unlock this white and I'm gonna this black and I'm gonna turn it white and there you can see like if you are doing it on a white shirt and you're done with this you can just you know hit file and we can go to print and you can go to whatever printer it is that you're going to be using you go to your properties i'm going to go to my main sublimation this is in landscape hit my print preview all right i'm going to hit okay i'm going to hit okay then it's going to pull up and you can see how it's going to look when you get ready to print and there you have it so it took you all the way to the print process and then you can just hit print from there or whatever it is that you want to do i don't know should i print this i'll just print it since i'm already here there we go all right so there you guys have it you can uh, pause this and look at it as many times as you want remember you can put your own flair on it you can use um you can use whatever font that you want to use and like i said the font that i use was called uh let me see one second it was a and s california plug so i hope you enjoyed this video and i'm going to get this posted up right away and if you have any questions make sure you leave it in the post okay see you guys later